Today we're going to be installing the PVC Premium Stair Rail System. It's an easy system to put together. Let's get started. Here are some of the tools you're going to need to install your rail systems. Four foot level to level your post. Hacksaw to cut your rail sections to length. Tape measure. Black marker. Square drive bit. Eighth inch pilot bit. A drill. Silicone. And two and a half inch lags. Let's go see what's in the box. Out of the box, your PVC post kit will include one metal mounting bracket, one post sleeve, one PVC cap, and one PVC base trim. The premium stair rail kit comes with one metal insert, one top rail, one bottom rail, two adjustable top brackets, two adjustable bottom brackets, a packet of installation screws, and 10 balusters. Another post option for your premium PVC stair rail kit would be a 44 inch final post at the bottom of your stairs, which could be mounted on a concrete surface or another deck surface. So now that we have determined that our bottom post is in line with our upper rail, let's go ahead and mount the bracket. Now let's go ahead and slide our sleeve on. The best way to determine the angle of your uh, rails is to just set the rail on the stairs up tight, measuring from the first baluster opening, which in this one is three and three quarter, come down to the lower one. Do that, three and three quarters. Now you can mark right where you're at on your post, on the bottom, as well as the top. And we can head over to the saw and cut those and match your top rail with it. So one of the helpful tools I like to use when determining angles is a sliding square. This way you could set it right on your cut, hold it tight, Tighten it up. You can go to your saw. And adjust your angle. Always remember to have a firm grip of the piece that you're cutting. Here we're gonna transfer our bottom rail measurement to our top rail. Now we're ready to cut the top rail. So now that we have determined the angle of our stairs, let's go ahead and cut the brackets to fit the rails. Always good to make sure you keep your fingers out of the way and have a firm grip on the piece you're cutting. Cut your brackets the same angle as your top and bottom rail. So now that we have our angles cut on our top and bottom rails, as well as our top and bottom brackets, let's put this thing together. A trick that I like to use to elevate the bottom rail is take a piece of decking board, set it down like that, push your bracket tight to your bottom post, push your bracket tight to your rail post, and we're ready to set some screws. So we're ready to install our balusters. These balusters have a square end. There's no locking tabs on these. So what we'll have to do is we have our angle predetermined. So we can go over to the saw and just trim our ends and they'll fit perfectly. Wow. 
and we're ready to start installing our balusters in our top rail. Start with installing your balusters. They'll slide in pretty easy and you can go from bottom to top or top to bottom. Now we'll slide on our bottom bracket and install our top rail. Slide your bottom baluster in first, working your way to the top. Slide your top bracket on, and there you go. Here we go, putting the base trim on. And lastly, the top cap. Now you have seen how easy it is to install a premium PVC stair rail.